YouTube, I thought I would cover a couple of uh, Stadler pencils in this video. You've uh, no doubt have seen my other videos where I tout highly on the Stadler Norica, the black one that you see right here, uh, which for a very inexpensive you know, office or school pencil is is one of my favorites, if not the favorite. And uh, recently, uh, I was told by uh, Johnny over at uh, Pencil Revolution blog that um, some have mentioned to him that the blue Stadler Norica pencil is actually a darker pencil than the black one that I just showed you here. And so I thought what I would do is I would do a, um, a review, a comparison of both of these Norca pencils. So right off the bat, uh, let's go with the aesthetics on, you know, the appearance of these two pencils and what is obvious right off the bat. And then I'll get right into um, some other comparisons. The black Stadler uh, Norica HB2 has a black, clearly a black paint job on here, and it is more matted, um, very little sheen to it. It has a, I mean, a very minor sheen to it. It's more matted. And in this particular case, the wood appears to be a little darker and has a scent as compared to uh, the blue one here, which is a lighter pencil. And while my uh, nose doesn't work very well, I had a couple of family members, uh, I got my wife and, and daughter, who can smell the wood and everything, and they remarked to me that the black one smelt nice, but that the blue one had a kind of a chemical smell to it. So um, I, that's hearsay because I, I can't, you know, I can only pass on what they said. Uh, the other thing that I noticed right off the bat is that the black um, Norica, its ferrule is a dull gray finish, whereas in the blue pencil, it is a shiny uh, silver. So you have a dull silver and a shiny silver, and they both have the latex-free white vinyl erasures on the tip, so that's the same. The other thing that I noticed that stood out is that the core, the lead core inside of the blue is noticeably thinner in diameter than the black one. When you sharpen these two pencils, you can tell right off the bat using the same exact sharpener that you have more lead exposed on the black than you do on the blue. And that is usually what happens when you have a thicker diameter uh, lead core. So the black actually has a thicker core, uh, a much, you know, thicker in diameter lead core than the, the blue one does. And I don't know if you can tell by looking at it straight down. I can, but you may not be able to. But this is the blue one right here, and you can see how much smaller that core is compared to the black one. Okay. So that's a smaller diameter core, lead core. Okay, now that is just from immediate uh, looking at it straight on. Now how about the way they write? Okay, when I tested writing with these two pencils, I immediately was able to see a difference between the two. And then I had others use both pencils and then report back to me and let me know what they thought. And everybody across the board said the same exact thing. The black Norica, which has always been my favorite one, is the smoothest of the two. Okay. This one is not as smooth, and you can actually hear the difference if you're, you know, you're, I don't know about on the camera, but you can hear it here. Okay, and it has a scratchier feel to it and a louder sound. Now, it was not 
um, across the board agreed upon as to preference of which you know uh, one is better to write with. I happen to like the feel of the smoother black one, and um, some liked the more abrasive feel of the blue one, and said that this was just too too soft, too like they described it as you know as if it has wax in it, and they didn't like the fact that it was just you know glides on there. They prefer a little bit of of the feeling of the tooth of the paper and and you certainly will feel a resistive drag on the paper okay I could feel the rough drag on the paper with the blue as compared to the black one which is more gliding over the paper itself now how about the tone well the interesting thing is, is I have a very heavy hand when I write and my wife had a very light hand. Um, when I write, I tend to make everything dark anyway. And at some point, the blue seemed a little darker, as you can see here, compared to the black. But then, as my wife was using it, for example, they looked the same. So I may be putting too much pressure on one than the other. It could be the thinner diameter that digs it more into the paper. Uh, you know, it's very subjective at this point. I tried uh, simply shading. For example, here's the black. Goes on really nice. And then here's the blue. You can hear the scratchiness of the blue. It's not bad. I mean, like I said, some liked it, some didn't. It, it's so close, it's hard to tell if there's really a difference. I think if I want to write, you know, hard, and then with the other one, do the same thing. What do you think? Uh, you know, it. the top one is the blue and the bottom one is uh, the black one. Yeah, they seem to be pretty much, well, and here you can take a look at that too. They look pretty much the same, don't you think? I think so, especially on camera they look the same. Um, here is where, you know, I kind of thought, okay, maybe the top one is not as dark as the uh, bottom, but that could have been simply that I just pressed on it too hard. So anyway, it, I would say that the tonal quality of the two is virtually indiscernible for, for the most part. And if there is a difference in tonal value, it's negligible. Okay, So I think you'll be happy with the tonal value of either one. They're both a lot better than just your average cheapy school pencil, you know, like an office depot or a staples cheapy pencil you know those are light and hard and you yeah, can't stand it but other than that um, if you like a nice smooth kind of you know like maybe it has a little wax in it uh, maybe you know uh, kind of crayonish I don't know it's just very what I like about black wings is because of of that feeling of just gliding on the paper I would choose the black one. I mean, that would be my winner, and it is personally my winner of the two. My wife, she likes the blue one because she likes to feel, and you can definitely hear it, okay? Um, she likes the feel of it dragging on the paper itself. Me, i not too much into the scratchy type of sensation, uh, and that's why, you know, I like to use such things as the black wing because I... I like it to just write like butter. Anyway, so that's it. Um, pretty much it's personal choice, but those are the two comparisons. And most definitely there is a s smaller diameter core in that blue one than in the black one that I have here. Um, so I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope it addressed some of the questions you may have if you're trying to decide between one or the other. And by the way, 
this came in a box of 12, you know, it's like a dozen, a dozen pencils, you know, and you, you pay a few bucks for a dozen pencils. And here you get three dozen for basically the same price. So this is actually a much better deal is this black one um, than the blue one. The blue one's more expensive. All right. Thumbs up, please, if you like it, and I'll see you in the next video.